Is this what you usually, is this your average um, every night work? Yeah, we got better people. We can. You can see major um, cop cars um, new design for the bicentennial. Comments about what happened tonight. Turn your light on. Uh, can you turn your light on there. Turn it on in there. Why? Do you have any last comments about what happened tonight? Rob, you're getting mad at me. Can't you tell? Yeah, you did a fine job cleaning it up, man. I appreciate it. The cop car there. We can still see. We can see people gathering here. What is your comment on what happened? Do you know what's going on? Yes, I think that's crazy, right? Are you coming in is it? What is your comment on what just went on? Oh, I think it's great. <laughs> here from the scene of the crime tonight. Miss, can you tell us what happened in your view? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Talk to her. Tracy. Well. Come on. A whole bunch of kids. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Oh, you, heard you heard it first on Eyewitness News. Well, uh, your town. From, uh, Taylor, an officer's first duty is to his uniform. Support at 15, evidently. Well, it's all over now. Police have left. It's the next day. Standing here in front of campaign headquarters of Fred Alec. Um, we'd like to apologize for the dark pictures, what we had last night, but we had bad lighting conditions. Well, enough small talk. Let's bring on our number one candidate, ladies and gentlemen, Fred Alec. Let's see if we can get a few words with the candidate. What do you think about this election? Uh, I think it's pretty cool there. Think you got a chance? Uh, who knows? You never know about it. You never know. Who knows? Might. Yeah, well, what do you think of the... Think, um, you get a lot of votes there? Oh, I don't know. All depends how everybody feels about me. What did you think about the election when you came home? Oh, that was pretty cool myself. Yeah. First time I've ever seen something like that happen. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Right. Here on the street, sir, what do you think Fred's chances are in the upcoming election? He's an asshole. Tell you me. Oh, I think the man has potential, sucker. That's what I mean. I think Fred can win. Mm. I think Fred can win, yeah. Mm. I think Fred can win, ah. We asked everybody. We even asked these elves. We asked the fire hydrant, a wristwatch, and the stop sign. We real we even asked some people, what do you think of Fred Alec in this election? He's a nerd. Nerd. Oh, is this all film? Basically, I believe in Fremer. I like Fred. Looks the man for me. Yeah. Everybody should vote for Fred. Like in 76. What chances is in the upcoming election? You know? What's Fred's chances in the upcoming election? I think Fred should lay off the pizzas. <laughs> He's fat like me. We'll be right back at this message. Why have muscles like these when you can have a body like Ray Tischler's? Well, you've heard it. This is Robert Fredericks at Fred's Place, campaign. Jackson outside the Fred, Fred Ellick estate. This is the scene of the big parade tonight at 7.30. Down here, Fred has a nice big house. It's 30 and two. Nice mailbox. <laughs> Give me some luck. Fred has a letter he hasn't opened yet. It's from the uh, Civil Defense Service. Fred hasn't taken a bath in two months. <laughs>
So, and I've come back from Nome, Alaska. My mate, ex-mate, committed mutiny. They left me in a raft boat with two packs of graham crackers and Kool-Aid, but I survived. Oh, the convention. I've seen some idiots in my time, but Fred, well, let's not talk about it. Has done some time, I mean spent so much of his spare time helping today's youth. Fred. This man Fred. How many of you out there really? Seriously. Fulfilling your pool. With there, think about it. Twelve thousand dollars down the drain. Fred did. You don't sweat there. Didn't hurt him. Didn't hurt him. How many of you out there who keep a lousy yard like Fred does? Not many, right? So vote for the man before he goes insane. Mm. is a man of high ability, high background, and high bullshit. Fred has tackled many problems, fixed his car with a wheelbarrow and garden hose, and put a CB aerial on his roof with no intelligence at all. That is why I'm here to say, when you hear Fred's voice over them airwaves, just think of what it would be like to have a man like that in office. Thank you. Wife bus is as big as mine. Our next speaker. Hey, Johnny. 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 to sleep in the morning trying to get up. Think about it. He was so bull <laughs> He was so bow-legged. He looked like a bite. Oh, I'll tell you. He looked like a bite out of a donut. <laughs> Everybody, don't forget to vote for Fred Alec in the upcoming election. Now, here's a word from Scott Towns. Thank you. Drop on the street again. One day before the election, let's ask some people what they think of Fred's chances are. Fred's my hero. I go crazy over Fred. He can win, yeah. Gives me goosebumps all over my hairy body, yeah. <laughs> Aprende, arrimando, ya que si mayo no lleno. Palindo, sakiyama, ya no yo. We know yo. Fred's my master. He'll do the job. Yeah, Fred, Fred, Fred. like Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fred is very good. I think Fred Alec is the brightest me because I think he can do it. Fred's a real pain in my ass, I'll tell you, man. I gotta lick him out of there. Quick, get out of there, Fred. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Get out of there, Fred. Go on. Leave. Come on. Words with Fred's daughter. Uh, cancel that. Fred976, and don't forget to eat peanuts. The LA cast, they seem to be indulging in conversation. <laughs> Fred has his back to us. And he wants, he seems like he's coming out. Someone's getting up, looking toward. It's the girl. Be looking toward the window. Fred looks homely, looking through the window. He has a big head, funny-looking eyes. He seems to be talking with a sideward squint. Poodles are barking in the background, and he looks towards the dogs Fred plays army with. Here at nighttime, the Ellick household. If we can walk over here, we may be able to see somebody in there. Inside the kitchen, you see a light on there. You look up there. Just in that window there, you can see his wife. Let's leave the Alec house for now. Fred now has enough votes to run for mayor. And now, here he is for his election speech, Fred Ellick. What's up here? Where is Fred? I better call his house. I mean, you know, I like to, I want to apologize. 
I'd like to apologize for this. You know, we, we planned to have Fred here for his acceptance speech. Just let me give him a call. Oh, Fred, why aren't you here? What? You're not running for mayor? What do you mean? We're right in the middle of this film. We got all kinds of stuff planned for this thing. You know, that's just how it is. All right. Bye. Jeff. Well, you've heard it. Fred ain't running, so this film's over. The film you're about to see is about teachers in Clearview Junior High School. Although they may look like the actual teachers, however, they are merely actors made up to resemble the actual teachers. Thank you. Tell us the truth. The blind carpenter said, I see, so he picked up this hammer and saw. Uh, on top of a mountain or in the middle of winter? Can you repeat that? Which is colder, on top of a mountain or in the middle of winter? I don't know, which one is it? I'll say a mountain. I don't know either. I don't get it. yell at you. Never yell at people. But it's not, there, there, there are times when I have to turn the volume up.